uh, very much on fire and uh, uh, just devastation all around. A Sedgwick County home explodes, leaving one man dead. Thank you for joining us this evening. Fire investigators believe a propane leak caused last night's deadly house explosion near Derby. It all happened about 10 o'clock last night near 75th Street South and 127th Street East between Derby and Rose Hill. Cakes Mike Ewan live at the scene with more on the man who neighbors say will be greatly missed. Mike. Yes, 88-year-old Roland Dayton lived alone and took meticulous care of his lawn and his house. But last night, about 10 o'clock, that house blew up into a thousand pieces. Neighbors say they didn't know what to think when the home Roland Dayton lived in since it was built in 1974 suddenly exploded. Uh, we heard a boom and it uh, felt like something actually hit our house, uh, which concerned us quite a bit. Crews from Sedgwick County battled the smoke and flames. County Fire Marshal Dan Wegner says one thing became apparent. Right now we're looking at it as a probable cause was a, a gas explosion caused by propane gas. After the smoke cleared, neighbor Logan Johnson helped in the search for Dayton. We were looking in the field to see if we could try to find him and you know for that went on for a couple hours you know. They found Dayton's body in the basement of his home. Johnson says his neighbor will be missed. He was a good guy, you know. He always kept up on his uh, on his uh, lawn work and always was doing something, asking me to help him. The retired Boeing worker and Navy vet left quite an impression on everyone he met, and now the house he loved is in pieces. Fire Marshal Wagner says to avoid potential problems, whether you use natural gas or propane, first make sure that your systems are well maintained. Secondly, he says you should have those well maintained systems still serviced every year. Third, if you do smell gas, get out of the house, get out of the building right away. Fourth, don't try and fix the problem yourself. Call the fire department or 911. And he says if you can shut off the gas, after you leave the house, do so, but uh, if you can't, then leave that up to the professionals. Again, the main thing in there is if you smell gas, get out of the house right away and then call 911. We're live in southeast Sedgwick County. Mike Ewan, Cake News. All right, thank you, Mike. And uh, the fire chief says explosions can come from a number of sources inside your homes. Here are some cake on your side tips to keep you safe. The most common Gas grills responsible for 6,000 explosions a year. Gas leaks aren't common, but they can be devastating. Water heaters that are overpressured can explode. It's important to have a relief valve and have your water heater serviced. If you use a furnace boiler for heating water, you'll want to take similar precautions. All of us have combustible products like cooking or bug spray in our homes. Don't store them near a stove. And glass containers can also explode. Keep them away from burners on the stove.